for it to be late April. Things are sure chilly here in Prattville, Alabama for the third stop of the Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats South Division. Stop number three of five, Kay Donaldson with the ABT, Robbie Floyd. And Kay, we've seen anything from 20 pounds down to 14 win this event. We've been here for five years, but things are going to be tough today. You know, we've always seen a whole lot of fish caught. We've always had a lot of limits come across the stage here. And today, I'm just not sure about that. Weather conditions with a lot of wind and rain that we've received throughout this week. It's going to be tough. Alabama River is going to be tough today. Uh, 46 degrees this morning. Things are supposed to rise up into the 80s, but the wind is going to be constant. 15 to 20 plus miles per hour. Let's send it to the guys out on the water. Welcome, folks. Third stop, Alabama Bass Trail South Division here on beautiful Alabama River out of Prado, Alabama here at Cooter's Pond. Water's up. What's the forecast? What have you seen, Kenneth? Water's come up about four feet since Thursday because of the rain we had. Projected another three or four feet, so it's definitely coming up. It's not going to stop. It's also colder, so that, that's going to affect the fish as well. But these fish are going to move up with the water. It's going to. There's a lot of cover in the water, mm -hmm. so the guys are going to have to cover a lot of water and try to find concentrations of fish. Turn the motor on high, covering a lot of water, doing a lot of different things. Jason, what are you looking to see today? Well, I think with the temperature going down, you know, the water's still coming up, the fish are going to move back. I mean, that's just that time, it's that time of year. Cloud cover, you know, got, the fish are probably gonna be roaming some today, so guys are gonna have to get around them and stay around them today, but I think we're gonna have some good weights. Projected high about 60 degrees today, maybe some sun later on. Give me a weight guess. We typically see 14 to 15 pounds here, but I think today it's gonna be a little higher. I'll go with 17. 18.6. I said 22 early in the week. I'm gonna stick with it. We'll see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. We're on the water and we'll find them. I know there was a lot of rain Thursday. Is that really affected what you're doing? Yeah, we uh, the water levels up quite a bit. Um, muddied everything up. Current's good, but this much current, right. I don't think it's helping. <laughs> yeah. It's a little area here where uh, an eddy's created from the current. These guys are kind of sitting right, right at the edge of that eddy. You know, along the bank, the current's actually flowing opposite direction of the river. And what these fish do, they'll set up where that seam is. Is this an area where you'd catch mostly spotted bass, or is it a combination of spotted bass and largemouth? No, it was all spots. Okay. Yeah, what you can't see is that it's right there where the tree is at the point that runs out. Yeah. Now, when the water was down, it was rolling over that point. We were out there. Right. Now the water's so high, it's up on the bank and top. Probably got six foot of water up here now. Right. Uh, and that has affected them a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Jace, what I'm curious about as fast as water's coming up is how fast these fish will relate to new cover. There's already a lot of cover in the water, but coming up, there's going to be a lot of new cover. How does the guy go down the bank and pick apart this cover? Is it just high bypass on the trolling motor? And hit all you can hit. Yeah, you just gotta keep it, keep the bait moving, definitely. But you know, Chris, also this year the water's probably come up five or six times here throughout the winter. That's true. So it's been up and down, up and down, up and down. So maybe these fish have found new cover and are looking to go back to it. It's just you gotta go figure that out today. We just moved a little ways from our first stop, and here's another little area that's uh, created a little current break and a little eddy. Got two boats here, so it's not a very big spot, but it's a popular spot. Yet. Got one keeper, not any size. But we didn't really have much time to practice. We came down here a few weeks ago, and it was a lot different water level wise. But it was all right. All right, so you can tell that the water's got a lot of color to it. So these guys are throwing reaction baits. A guy in the back's throwing a spinner bait, just trying to get that morning bite going. Guys like he's flipping over to a jig now. Just gonna flip it out a little bit. Slow it down a little bit, maybe. We got him. We got him. Now we're getting it. <laughs> Yes. 
Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, official truck of the Alabama Bass Trail, by TH Marine, improving your boat from transom to trolling motor, and by Jax, all about the South. There's more to come. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. So our mission statement here at Bill Penny Motor Company is to enrich the lives of our employees and our customers and the communities we serve. And it really begins and ends with people. It started with that kind of philosophy with my granddad and went through my dad. Growing up around the business, I remember being just a kid washing cars and meeting these customers. Now I'm a grown adult and they get to buy vehicles from us and hopefully serve their next kin for generations to come. For the whole story, visit us at BillPennyToyota.com where people always come first. What could 148,000 people possibly have in common? As different as each of the members of America's First are, they all like it when good things happen to them. Like when their savings earn a higher return than they can get with a bank, and when their loans and credit cards have lower rates. And they like taking care of business from wherever they are. Why not join us today? America's First Federal Credit Union. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. There he is. Oh, I got him. You've witnessed the action in the north, the thrill in the south. Now, it's your turn. Time for you to be a part of the Alabama Best Trail. $47,000 paid out at each event. And new this year, no entry fee championship with over $100,000 up for grabs. That includes a whopping $50,000 for the winner. Over $580,000 in cash and prizes in 2020. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and sign up now at alabamabasstrail.org. The Alabama Best Trail Tournament Series, presented by Phoenix Boats. Prattville, Alabama is our host as we make this third stop at the Alabama Bass Trail South Division. Robbie Floyd here with you. 225 teams blasted off this morning to unseasonable cool temperatures in the 40s. Following a week of storms and rain, some tough conditions this morning as our anglers compete for that $10,000 first place prize. Who's going to find them today? Let's head back out on the water and see how they're catching them. I'm stuck. Oh, 
first fish I ever caught on camera. <laughs> Well, Jason, here we are in, the, in some backwater. Doesn't seem to matter, it's still windy, it's still cold. Uh, had an interesting little ride down here. A uh, lot of floaters, a lot of debris. Water's up, like I talked about earlier. Um, we stopped on a few teams. Any surprises in what you've seen? Well, you see guys that didn't even practice at all. So a lot of guys you've seen, seems to be that are just kind of jumping around, hitting different spots, trying to find what's going on, and then probably going to try to capitalize on that a little later in the day. So you're right. So I think guys are looking for big fish. You know, we, we talked to one team that's got one four, maybe four and a half in the boat. And we talked to a lot of guys that have caught one, lost one. So let's go and get to Kenneth and see what he's seeing. As you can see from the background, we're basically downtown Montgomery, and this is just a small pocket off the main river. Uh, it's an area that, out of the current, um, we've just pulled in these guys. So we're gonna follow them for a minute and see if uh, we can see what they're doing, and hopefully uh, see a fish catcher too. How's your morning been so far? We got two keepers. Okay. We got three. Really? Been here all morning? We're just coming through here fishing in the grass up under. Real slow bite. Fish. Oh, yeah. I like it. I'm glad you came back and got him back. I believe you get my blade. Well, we moved further down the river. We came back into another small pocket. And we got to the back of it. We found a boat in here. And as soon as we pulled up on them, he catches one on the spinner baits. So we're going to spend a little time on them and see how they do. Yeah, you know, the water's so high, it's making it really hard to fish in these areas. Of kind of hard to tell, but the water actually goes quite a bit past the trees here at the end. It's just so hard to get baits that far back. This portion of the program is sponsored in part by Sweet Home Alabama, by Garmin, and by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, will be right back. The taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides, because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast Catering, starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. We've been in this backwater area for a little while now. We've talked to several guys. Some of the guys said they caught short fish. A couple of guys had one or two fish. But overall, it's been tough. So we're going to leave here, head back down, down the river, and uh, we'll check with uh, Chris and Jason and see what they're seeing. Can you believe it's 
truck with these perfect conditions? <laughs> Man. <laughs> How y'all got them? We got two. We proud as we can be of them two. <laughs> Did y'all move around a lot today or? We've only fixed about three or four places. This was our best place in practice in this area. We got a couple of decent fish in here yesterday. It's been tough. Yeah. I think, Jason, I think you've got to be able to look past this initial line of cover. With this water coming up, I think you've got to be able, you, you need to at least explore these corners yeah. and a little deeper in there possibly. Well, you wind. can see even up ahead of us here, I mean, water's going back in there. Yeah. 40 feet maybe. Yeah. You know, and, and the bank comes down pretty steep right there still. So fish are moving up in there. It's kind of hard to get to some of it though. Wind is your friend. Unless it's <laughs> blowing 40 on the river channel. <laughs> Maybe not, but right here, give it. What are y'all doing today? Man, you don't even want to know. Now, don't tell me anything bad. Huh? Don't tell me bad stuff. There ain't nothing good to tell. Good to tell you. <laughs> we ain't even had a bite today. Wow. Y'all seen anybody catch anything today? Oh, it's not all that great. I mean, kind of what I figured. I mean, it's how water's got it all, Jack. Yeah. Guys, we made it back in one piece. Yep. Um, rough day on the water. It was. We want to, do you want to re-guess our weights from the beginning of the show? No, I'll stick with what I had. Okay. What did you see? You guys ran to we the ran up, We ran up river. Yep. Well, the first thing I noticed when we pulled out of here, there's a lot of stuff floating in a river. So we really took it easy where we were going. We pulled up on a lot of guys that were fishing the main river channel. A lot of them said, hey, practice. It was easy. We're getting bites real easy. Water's completely different than what they practiced in but they wanted to stick with it. They thought fish were still there. They figured maybe over time they could figure it out. We finally made it far enough upriver, got in the back of some creeks, saw more boats in there. The water conditions was a lot better, but still high. And what we see in the high water is the cover that you would typically be fishing is, is not the edge of the water anymore. The water's way back behind there. Right. So these fish start to scatter and move around and guys were really trying to figure out what they need to do to catch fish. Jason, we ran south, what did, what, what did you see? A lot of reaction kind of stuff for those guys. Big spinner baits, slowing down. Big spinner baits. Slowing down, rolling those spinner baits, and then they'll get the trolling motor on high and go again. You know, they're targeting cover that is maybe five foot deeper than it was yesterday or earlier this week. And again, like you said, it looks like they need to be 10 feet back behind that just to find them. And that's where some guys were catching them, so it's working. Well. 225 boats, Allen Bass Trail, South Division, third stop. Thing is, somebody's going to find them. When we come back, we're going to find out who. This portion of Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Toyota, Sweet Home Alabama, and by America's First Federal Credit Union. Stay with us. There's more to come. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydrowave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions 
today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got a hundred road trips, and some of the best are outdoors. Like a trip to Lake Gunnersville, first stop on the Alabama Bass Trail. Catch anything? Nice. Or head to the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. 468 holes of golf heaven. What's the time say? Best public golf on the planet. Alabama's got a hundred road trips. Plan yours at alabama.travel. Which one you gonna take? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, do you mind being a motor? What could be better than being a motor? The real question is, do you mind not being a motor? I do. For those who were born to ride, there's Progressive. Welcome, everybody, to the Alabama River. We're in Prattville, Alabama. We've already had some boats weigh in. Some said, my day's done. It was too rough out there. Right now, our current leader, Kevin Williams, Jonathan Tutt, with 1098. Somebody's about to win this bad boy. Let's find out who it's going to be. Again, 225 boats left this morning. The wind started whipping. The temperature was up or down there as well, down to like 45, 46 degrees. Noah Godwin, Cole Godwin, you were boat number 20. What were you thinking when you take off this morning? I was hoping we could catch them, but it didn't work out that way. Might have a new leader, Mike Kern, Sugar Walker, five bass. Didn't look like a bad day for y'all. Looked like it was okay. It was all right. It was all right. All right. When did you have this limit by? Seven. Seven a.m. <laughs> yeah. You kidding me? Nope. No problems for you then. How many total fish do you think you caught? Ten. Ten. Ten bass. All right. These large, the largest five will weigh a grand total of again ten ninety eight. Our lead. We're much higher than that. Fourteen seventeen. Taking the lead, Mike Hurd, Sugar Walker. What? Blast off, we looked at all those trees going down the lake, and it's like there's no way we're going out there. We idled just right up, right up in the mouth of Cooter's Pond up there, and just stumbled on those fish and caught them all quick. Caught them there before 7 o'clock, dropped a power pole and sit there all day. Pritchard and Pritchard with 1565 taking the lead. How about a round of applause for them over 15 pounds? It was a long day. It was tough. You get a bite about every hour and a half, maybe two hours. We caught seven or eight fish all day. Just fortunately, they was the better fish, you know, quality fish. 615, you're saying? He said five. He's a better guesser than you are. 528. Hey, that education is really paying off. What grade are you in? Seven. How old are you? 13. Well, how, how much school do you have left? What's your last day of school? May 20. 24th. What's your girlfriend's name? I don't have one. You know, hey, ladies, he's available right here, alabamabasstrail.org. But what, what are you talking about here? I like to do application. What? what? He always, look at it, he was running. He is setting that thing up so much, but he couldn't get I've got to take an application. Mountain Dew Big Bass, Chris Rutland and Colby Carden, they got a 416. They were the leader. Sneed and Carter with a 442. How about a round of applause? Taking the lead on the Mountain Dew Big Bass. David Sneed, uh, Clint Carter have a 442 in the mix. We've got a new leader on the Mountain Dew Big Bass. Far and Mask have a grand total of 513 for this big. And good job. How about a round of applause? They got five decent fish. It's going to take the lead. Rob Kyle, Brad Shiver, 1625. We've got a new leader on the Alabama Bass Trail here at the Alabama River. So tell me about the day um, you caught five. How long did it take you to catch them? Well, it, it's kind of a, a little story behind it. We would we would go in, we'd catch one or two or three, and then we'd have to back off, give them an hour or two, and then go back in, we'd catch one more. And then so the same area then? A, a spot big as the hood of a truck. You fished solo today, or was Kyle out there? Yeah, I had fished by myself today. Okay, let's find out. And evidently, you were doing something right. So let's find out. I think we've got a new leader. We need 1625 to take the lead. Alan Yarborough going solo, 1742. We've got a new leader on the Alabama Bass Trail. These conditions were unusual. The water was high, and uh, it moved the fish. 
So I had to think a little bit, which I normally don't have to do out here fishing, but I was able to locate where the better fish had moved to, and it, it was overall a real good day. Bringing up our next pair, Dusty Jordan, Alex Bowden. Said it? See that? You like that? It might be screwed up, B-O-W-D-O-I-M, but it is Bowden. Hey, I think we might have somebody move up the leaderboard. 1835 for Jordan and Bowden taking the lead here at the Alabama River. Tell us about your day. Really blessed. Really, really blessed. Well, I know conditions change a lot. We had a lot of rain here Thursday. A lot of guys practiced early in the week. We talked to a lot of guys on the water, said patterns totally changed. Did you guys pre-fish and it changed, or did you just roll with the day? It had changed a lot. It really had. It had for me, but. Yeah, I mean, yesterday I fished till about 10 o'clock down the river and wasn't doing nothing, so uh, just turned and went way up the river, and the water looks a lot better up there, so that's where we spend our time today. Struggles for many on the Alabama Bass Trail. This Alabama River, I mean, it was tough. Not only the wind, you had temperature this morning and the current. Yeah, that's what a lot of the guys were saying. You know, we got a tremendous amount of rain this week, and I think they were running four to five gates today. So uh, the people who made the adjustments, and I mean, we say that every time, but it seems like Mother Nature just keeps throwing us a curveball. And let's bring in our winners, Jordan Bowden. I mean, how does it feel to win this thing? And and you were telling me that really Ott and Defoe kind of keyed you in on something, not only the location, but the bait. It, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, I, I owe him supper for sure, because uh, it was one of the exact same places where he caught a bunch of fish. and. I got to watch it and uh, knew exactly where to go and what to do. And, and the thing is, they went there, they caught them, they left. You came back and still caught them. We did. Uh, they were just moving up and down there all day. And uh, we, we had a good time. We caught a lot of fish. Well, that's going to be it for the south here. We're heading up north. We're at Weiss Lake. Next stop at the Alabama Bass Trail. Somebody's going to catch them there if it's anything like it was last year.